Hello and welcome to another edition of the Knots Landing After Show. I'm James Legend, your host. Thank you so much for making this after show a hit for me on my network. Thanks for sharing your opinions. Uh, also, things that I didn't know you're sharing with me also, and I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the Facebook groups. It's been fun uh, talking with you and finding out what you like and what you don't, what you remember, what you don't remember. Um, this, this episode is about Linda Fairgate. So here's something that's really interesting for me when it comes to not slanting. And you guys can tell me the same if you feel the same way. I am really lit really well, I guess. This light is a lot. Uh, I'll leave it alone. Here's the thing. Not slanting wasn't like the other shows of the 80s, of primetime and the 90s. It was, to me, more like a one-hour drama. Yeah, there was storyline arcs and stuff, but it was much more subdued. It wasn't flashy. It wasn't over the top. They had some storylines that were a little, you know, they tried. I remember one season, everybody had shoulder pads up to here and hair out to here at one point. It was very 80s. Um, but it was a show. The show was, people had money. They were, they were either upper middle class or, or lower upper class. I mean, Sumner had money, clearly. But even the way he lived, it wasn't like, it was very California ranch style home. So when it came to Karen, there were a bunch of kids. Early, early, early since we had Diana. And actually, I liked her character, Claudia Lunau, who later went on to all kinds of producing and writing fame later. Um, she's so good later. Uh, but on this show, I liked her on the show. She fit, the, the, to me, the tone, being Karen and Sid's kid. Even the stepdaughter, Annie, the other one that was Sid's daughter, she fit the show too, and she was on for a short time. But then it was Michael um, and Eric, the two younger sons. When they were kids, it was no big deal, right? Because even Abby's daughter, which I'll talk about, Olivia, we're going to talk about her storyline. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in, in depth, too. Um, but she fit the show. Even that, even, you know, it's, it's, uh, oh my God. That was, uh, yeah. No, that was such a powerful uh, storyline that she was fit. Paige came on, uh, Mac and Mac and Ann's daughter, and she fit. It was those two boys to me for some reason didn't fit, or I didn't write for the write for them in a way that made me feel like they fit on the show. Like, I feel like they could have fit on the show. Um, Eric and Michael both. Michael got more storyline than Eric did. But then their storyline, where one, one of the storylines was tied together through Linda, who came on. Um, and it was this whole thing. So basically, Eric met Linda first. They're in college. Got married. Um, you know, he's a nice guy. Eric was a nice guy. There was nothing, nothing, nothing really there. Brought him home. He took a job uh, in Saudi Arabia. She didn't get along with her mother. So she came, she stayed with McKinsey's. Then her and Michael became friends. Because, you know, and so I kind of liked them as friends, actually. I kind of liked them as just a friendly, just friends. But they made them fall in love. Um, and then they moved out. And Laura Park Lincoln, I, I loved her. She had a little moment in the 90s. She was just, she was just in the 90s. They tried to fashion her as a manipulator, social climber, business climber. Uh, she went to work for the Sumner Group. Her and Paige didn't get along. But I just felt like Paige was just out of was like uh, was ahead of her league. Or so. I don't. I just. I just. I'm a huge Paige fan. I think. I think she just. Was, she was like such a nice, complex character. Where Linda, to me, was like diet page she was page light she was um they were trying to make her into something that i felt like didn't fit for this show i don't know for me it just didn't really work um and then her and michael were mismatched obviously because she, she was really ambitious michael was just a regular guy um then she started sleeping with greg sumner i was just like okay i mean I guess um, her and Paige would go at it. 
I don't know. I just, the character, you know, by the time all her storylines went down, she, there was this whole storyline that an ex of hers comes to town and he's trying to get it from his wife and oh, there's, there's some money involved. And but I'll tell you, uh, he kills her in the end. And as I would say the direction and for that episode at the end, because it would always end the shows. You remember this, folks, with the credits and still the camera rolling. But the credits would come on. We like executive producers, well, you know, whatever. And it was their start to kind of roll, written by whatever. Um, it was very cool the way he did that. Because, or it wasn't a freeze frame. It was like it was still kind of trickling. And the way they showed this guy slash her throat, they didn't show him slash her throat. It was in the perspective of he gets behind her, you see her face, you see her feet and blood go to her feet. She drops, he walks away. You just see her feet, bloody feet. The credits come up. I remember being shocked that actually killed her. Oh, shocked. I remember being shocked when I watched it. Like, oh my God, I killed her. But I didn't miss her on the show. I think the fair gay name lived on. It was still going. I mean, I don't know. I just, I just, there was a sex tape of her and this guy, Brian. All kind, I mean, it's all kinds. Of, it just, it just, I was sorry, she just didn't work for me. Um, they tried to show her as kind of uh, on some level, like she was vulnerable, but her mother was kind of weird too. Um, her mother was kind of like didn't it was kind of shallow herself. I, mean, I don't know. I just I just didn't. There's so many characters that came on the show that seemed to work for me in the context of the way the show was set up. That I think Linda Fairgate belonged maybe on Dallas. Or Dynasty, I guess she could, she could be on another show and like they amped her up, it probably would have worked. Even the Colby's you know, coming over there. Uh, I think she just wasn't right for this. And I mean, and like I said, both the boys, Karen's boys, they should have bigger roles on it. They should, they should have written them, done something with them that's even more. They didn't, they didn't do much with them. That was anything. And literally Linda got more screen time than they did at some point. Now, I do know the character who played Eric, I believe he died during um, the filming of the show. Um, let me make sure, I'm gonna check really quick, because I'll make sure I have the right, I will make sure I have the right information, because you guys will uh, correct me. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys will, yeah. Oh yeah, they're doing me. So, um, yes, uh, Yes, the guy who played with Steve Shaw uh, was killed at the age of 25 in a car accident. He's there 5th, 1990. Um, and apparently on an episode, Not Standing American Hero, Not Standing One, it was dedicated to him and Michelle Lee sang the closing song during the credits. Oh, I remember that. Wow. That's, that's, that's so young. Wow, that's really young. I, didn't, I, knew, I knew he had died, but I wasn't sure from what. Um, so anyway, so I think she would have been a great character somewhere else, possibly, or if the show was a different kind of show. I mean, Abby seemed to fit on there for some reason. Like she fit. Paige seemed to fit. She fits. Um, I this one I just didn't, didn't fit me. But again, I liked Lark Park Lincoln. She was stick on to a couple other things. Um, and um that's it. You tell me what you think. I mean, do you remember the character? Did you like the character? Do you think I'm wrong? Please tell me below, right in the comments where we see this. Right, damn, tell me, tell me what you think. Um, I was like I said, I was thinking about her the other day. I was like, I like I said, I like the actress, so I was like, I remember her, but um, share as you always do. Everyone, please, uh, if you're an audio uh, listener, I'm so happy you're listening to audio. We're on every streaming service, and the videos on JLJ Media on YouTube. I have other episodes, so we're not, it's not the only one. And I cover Dallas, I cover the Colby's, and I cover Falcon Crest, as well as modern soaps, YR. Bold and Beautiful, and General Hospital. I'm James Hutch, and I'll see you next time.